Today, finding the length of lists and strings in Python. All right, so let's get into it. I have four solutions for you right here, giving you the meat and potatoes right up front. We have our string called Python, represented by the variable p, and we can run this, and I have four print statements for four solutions, and you can see that the number, uh, the length of the Python string is six for all four of these solutions. Worth noting up front that strings and lists basically uh, work the same way in this context, that they're both iterables um, and they both kind of iterate the same way, they get counted in the same way. So when we run this, they'll all return one. Um, if we make this longer, we can say Python is good. And of course, this is a list with the length of three and we can run this and all our solutions return three. All right, let's switch this back to a string for simplicity's sake, and let's run through each one of these solutions one by one in detail to kind of get a better understanding of how they work. So let's start with solution one, and I'm just going to comment out some print statements so things aren't confused. We're looking at our for loop here. We can run this, get six. Cool. So what exactly is happening behind the scenes? Well, we have a for loop here, and we are iterating over every letter in the string. So I can print out I here, and we can run this again, check this out, and see how we're iterating over every letter um, in order. So P, then Y, then T, then H, then O, then N, and that's how we're looping over the string. And every time we uh, loop over this string for every single letter, we are adding plus one to our counter of zero. So it's kind of like P equals one, and then Y plus one equals two, and then T plus one equals three, and then H plus one equals four, right? So we could even um, print the counter as well before it gets added up, just to see what that looks like. And we'll do that. So we, so, when we first loop over it at P, we have a counter of zero, and then we add one. And then when we start the Y, we have a counter of two, and then we add one, and so on and so forth. So I think this is the most straightforward solution. Um, loop over the string, count up how many times you looped, and you will find the length. All right, now moving on to solution number two, the while loop. So this is an interesting one, and this one definitely we want some print statements for just to get an idea of what's happening. So if you're not familiar with this syntax, uh, this is where we are slicing the string. And I'll show you what that looks like if we can create our print statement. Sweet, so we run this, and you see that we're basically uh, reducing down the string, slicing down the string, so we start uh, with the full string of Python, and then when we loop over it again, we've sliced off the P, and we have Ithon, and then we slice off the Y, and then we have Thon, and every single time we do that, every single time we loop and slice off a letter, uh, we increase the counter by one. Another way I can make this clear is if first we just show the counter, and then next we show P counter. So we can run this again, we can see that it's still counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, but the way we've done it is kind of the opposite of the for loop. We're kind of going the opposite direction. Let's do a quick aside on slice notation to make this clear. So we have our string Python, and if we did p1 colon, we're starting at index 1. So that's why it's starting at y. And if we did 2, we're starting at index two, right? So if you did two, that's T. So that's why we're starting at T, right? We're starting at T, so we go to the end of the word. And again, the syntax is basically like this, start, end. So we're clarifying our start, and since we don't clarify an end, it just goes um, until the string finishes. All right, back to our solution. I think that's pretty much good for the wall loop, so let's move on to the next one. All right, the next one is the lambda function, and we can run this right away, get our solution of six. 
So basically what's happening? Well, I will add list here in place of sum to give you an idea that now we have a list of one, 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 one. Basically for every letter in the string, we have created a value of one. Then we wrap list around that or we could wrap tuple around that. And so we have this iterable with a whole bunch of ones and then we can just wrap sum around the iterable to sum the values in the iterable and get six. And this is actually the same as our last solution. It just doesn't use the lambda function, so it might be a little bit easier to reason about, right? So we have our string p, and for every character in p, uh, we're gonna instantiate a value of one, right? Um, so we run this, this gets six, and we can do that exact same thing where we can wrap a list to get the feel for it. Again, one, 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 one. Um, same thing, we can wrap tuple around it, get a tuple of one, 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 one. And we can do sum to sum the values in the iterable and get six. So if you wanted a one-liner, uh, I would recommend this method. It's actually pretty clean compared to the counter. I think for introductory developers, this counter might make a little bit more sense, but if I was to find the length, if me personally, I was to find the length of a list or string without the len function, um, I would use a one-liner like this. Did I even in this video uh, include what it looks like to use the len function? So um, again, the most simple way, and if you're allowed to do this, this is the way you wanna do it, is just wrap len around p, and run this again and we have a length of six. So all of these uh, solutions that we have here, our four solutions, the for loop, the wall loop, the lambda function, and uh, the one-liner, they're basically all alternatives uh, to this len built-in function, which I highly recommend. So there you have it, four ways to find the length of a list or string in Python without using the len built-in function. Thanks for watching.